Hello, everybody. So this would be the podcast for, you can see, the week of March 18th through 22nd. Um, what you guys are going to be doing is graphing lines. And the format, the style of the equation that you'll be getting is called slope intercept. Whoops, I forgot the I. Form. Because they tell you the slope. Remember, M is your slope. And I can't tell you why M is slope, but if you think that's weird, how about this one? B. B is your Y intercept. Now, when something is an intercept, it means it, if, if you were to intercept a plane, okay, that means you're going to catch it. Okay. In this case, what it means, the Y is this axis, the X is this axis. These are called an axis. I guess maybe I should start there. So this is the y-axis. This is the x-axis. Okay, the x is the horizontal one. Horizontal is side to side. Horizon, when you look out to the horizon, the horizon is side to side. The vertical axis is always the y-axis. Okay, x-axis, y-axis. The y-intercept is where you cross the y-axis. Okay, so to show you how to do this in delta math, the first thing you're going to do is graph the y-intercept. The second thing you're going to do is do the slope. Okay, so I'll minimize this so I can both write on it and do it on delta math. So let me pull delta math out. That's not the one I wanted. Uh, where did it go? This one. Pull delta math out. Come on. Come on out. Here, boy. Here we go. And I want to move it over there. Move this over here. Okay. So to graph, all you're going to do is do the y-intercept first. So we've got the equation y is equal to 3 4 x plus 4. It fits this pattern, y equals mx plus b. So your slope is the coefficient, it's the number on the x, 3 fourths. The y-intercept is 4. You always graph the y-intercept first. The y-intercept is where you cross the y-axis. The y-intercept is 4. So you go and put a mark and click and, and click on that point. Now, from that point, you're going to rise 3 and run 4. So let me talk about that over here again. This is your rise, the number on top, and then this is your run. So from this point, you're going to rise 3, 1, 2, 3, and then run 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, and click again. And there's your line. Let's try another one. The y-intercept is 3. Click at 3, because that's on the y-axis. Your slope is 2 fifths. So you rise, 2, run, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Click again, and there you go. The y-intercept is negative 2. So you come down and click there. Then rise, 6, run, 5. Rise, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and run, 5. One, two, three, four, five. And click again. So you're always counting from the y-intercept. Okay. All right, so this one's a little trickier. Okay. So you've got y equals negative x minus 5. So again, it's fitting this pattern. The y-intercept is what you start with, and that's negative 5. The slope is negative 1. Now, we haven't talked about what to do when they're whole numbers, let alone negative one, negative numbers, okay? So, yeah, okay, I'll stick with this one. I was going to jump ahead and see if I could find one that might be a better one to start with. You're doing a rise over run. Now, remember, if you have a number, say you have y is equal to 2x uh, plus 3, your slope is 2. And remember, you can take any whole number and write it over 1, so then you have a rise over run. So you rise to run 1. 
if I write this over 1, I have rise a negative 1, run 1. So to rise a negative number, it means you go down, and then you go right 1, because that's a positive number. Okay? So your y-intercept is where you start, negative 5. And from there, I rise a negative 1, which is down 1, right 1. You click. There you go. Okay. Y-intercept is 4. Slope is 1. So you go up 1, over 1. Okay. If your slope is 1, I can always write a whole number over 1. So you rise 1. Run one. There it is. Let me find. Okay, negative three fourths. Y equals negative three fourths x plus five. So the y intercept is five. It's your b. So b is equal to five. So that's pretty good. Your slope is negative three fourths. Now we need to talk about that negative. When you do it, Negative 3 fourths is the same as negative 3 over positive 4, or it's 3 over negative 4. You either put the negative up or you put it down, but don't put it both places because two negatives make a positive, which is positive 3 fourths, and it's not positive 3 fourths, it's negative 3 fourths. So I'll do it off this first one. Okay, y-intercept is 5, slope is negative 3 fourths. So remember, a negative number on top means you go down rather than going up. So the y-intercept is 5. Negative 3 goes 1, 2, 3 down. And then it's a positive 4 on the bottom, so 1, 2, 3, 4. And there's your line. Okay, I think that should be enough to get you through the assignment. Thank you for your time.